When Tiger Woods and the rest of the players tee off at Royal Montreal, they play a type of course they rarely see anymore, a narrow course where hitting the ball straight is as important as hitting the ball long. Well, it's an older style course. I mean, it's tree-lined. You know, you stand up to the tee and you have a really good idea what you're supposed to do before you even start, you know, where unfortunately a lot of courses we play anymore are uh, kind of wide open fields that have trouble built in. Royal Montreal was built 40 years ago. Over 18 holes, it's about 300 yards shorter than most of the new courses. And the narrow fairways and the trees are things you don't see on the new ones. And that means this tournament won't feature the kind of power strokes you see at other PGA stops. We don't play many courses like this anymore. This is, I guess what you would call, an open type course. You know, with the long rough, the narrow fairways. Um, like I said, the only thing that really uh, is a determining factor is the length of the holes on the front side. Very few holes over 400 yards long. The Canadian Open was last played at Royal Montreal 17 years ago. And with the way pro golf is changing, you have to wonder whether the tour will ever come back here. PGA likes the longer new courses because they can accommodate bigger crowds and because the bigger drives make for better television. The equipment manufacturers also have a stake in this. The longer courses show off the new equipment. Just ask any product representative traveling with the tour. Equipment will allow a golfer to hit the ball 280, 290 yards. Uh, the square grooves on the wedges will allow him to spin the ball better than the old V grooves did. So they can build greens that uh, you know, are tougher to get to some of the pin positions because the guys can bring the ball in much higher, bring the ball in with more spin than they could 20 years ago. Organizers have tried to make the course tougher with deeper rough and difficult pin placement on the greens, but they won't know how tough until they see the final scores on Sunday.